Alright, I got something in the hole. I don't know what it is. You guys go ahead. It's round. I'm, I'm freaking out. It's round. Oh, you got something. Wait! What you got? What is that? Uh, no, is that what I think it is? Is that, what, is that what I think it is? Did your buddy's lucky? Oh, you have no idea. Shut up. Hello everyone, welcome to Metal Detecting Northern Colorado. Today, I am pretty far away from Northern Colorado. In fact, I'm in Southern Illinois with a person you might recognize from previous videos, my buddy Jeff. Say hi, Jeff. Woo! Hello. And I'm not even gonna get into the story about why Jeff's here, but it's an amazing story. We'll save that for another video, but Jeff just happens to be out here in Southern Illinois with me. And we are going out to meet with Matt from Ski Searcher on YouTube. That up, link in the description. Matt was kind enough to uh, take us out and show us around. Uh, I think we're going out to an old homestead today. Lots of surprises, not really sure exactly where we're going, but isn't that part of the fun? It's just surprise. Absolutely. Are you surprised? I'm surprised. I'm shocked. Anyway, I have no idea what's going to happen today. Stay tuned and uh, let's go find some treasure. Deer, 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 deer. So you don't want me to sing in the background for a second? I'm excited. I should know. This isn't me, right? Well, as is customary. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> don't celebrate just yet, man. This is awesome, though. <laughs> yeah. no, that's a good sign. First target is a wheat penny. Got a wheat. All Love right. It. Good job. You got something? Yeah. All right. But I, I don't know what we're looking at. Oh, I just got a little washer. I saw something round and got excited. Okay. Wait! What you got? Oh, it's windy. You what is that? Freak out. Uh, no, is that what I think it is? I'm is that, what, is that what I think it is? Did your buddy's lucky? Oh, you have no idea. Shut up. Drilling grounds, close oh, to here. Are my you serious? Goodness. Jeff, you got it. Found it, brother. Civil War grape shot. This is grape shot, dude. Yeah, get out of the wind here. Civil War grape shot. Mind? This, um, it would have been fired out of a freaking cannon, man. Dude, like, he said I got something. I was like, <laughs> okay, it's going to be like, you know, um, like a piece of uh, old copper yeah, or something yeah. with something on it, something like that. You know, I didn't expect him to come. And I just got back. excited over a washer. Let's feel that. Oh, you're kidding. Holy like, we know, crap. guys, we know that um, soldiers drilled next to this homestead, but it's like, okay, I didn't expect to find that this far away from it. We are, we're close to it within walking distance. So if they drilled, they would have been firing stuff like, you know, everywhere. So wonderful start to the day. Absolutely. That's history right there, man. That's, I mean, the day's already made seeing him dig that. And we just started like- We just crazy. literally just started. So side, side note here, I want to introduce you to Matt. Matt is a ski searcher. Put him uh, right here. Ski, check him out, check out his channel. Ski, ski search is cold out here, my lips are frozen. <laughs> ski searcher on YouTube. Yes, sir. Jeff's working on I was the I was blocking the wind for you guys. Huge thanks for uh, taking us out here. Yeah, no great problem. Start. Hey, he just dug that, Jeff did, and we're going to get on some more old stuff. Stay tuned. That's right. All right, I got something in the hole. I don't know what it is. You guys go over here. It's round. I'm, I'm freaking out. It's round. Oh, you got something. That's a large. It's it round. Like it kind of looks like a token. Yeah, it, do it does look like a token, don't it? You ready? Oh yeah, it's way too big. Oh my gosh. What do you oh got? No, gosh. dude, you got something. Oh, dude, what is that? I see a woman. I see a woman. Is as it a well. barber? No. You got a barber hat? No. no. It's. Get some water on it. Get some water it's on it. Roman. <laughs> Get some water on it. <laughs> you you got water. Oh, this is a big deal. Can you show, show us the bottom of that? Five shillings. That's five francs. What is that? Five francs. It's a five four francs. Coins. It's French. Do you, have, do you have a date? What? We're about to get one. Made of uh That's it, crazy. It was a terrible signal. Hold up, we got a date. 1933. Yeah, and if you've watched my channel lately, I've had a great time out with the, with Tony and Ken and Jeff. Yeah. But I've had terrible luck. <laughs> Just awful really? luck. Yeah. Oh, I've had man. a great time watching them find stuff, but uh this makes up for uh some of my bad luck lately. Yeah. Unbelievable. Hey. That's, you guys got two good finds already, and we're just getting started, guys. I, I mean, stay tuned. We're gonna do some homestead hopping today. 
Yeah. All right. We might just hang out here all day. <laughs> all right. So out of this hole, Jeff said he got coins. I guess it could be another one of your front here. How do you pronounce it? Fronks. A Franck. Jeff is killing it. <laughs> no kidding. With the Equinox 800. I've yeah. never, I've never dug a, I've never dug a, uh, a coin this large before. So this is my, if, if it, you know, token yeah. coin. I think I see it some writing. Like a hole right there. I see some writing right on the edge. Okay. All, All right, right. Get we'll back clean to it up later. Oh. We'll fall back up. Pew. Right out of this hole here, I hit a, I think a foundation stone. I just pulled out this little cuff link. So you flip that over. Yeah, look at that. It's got a little bit of white, uh, almost looks like a ceramic coating. I'm so sorry, my, my lips are frozen. The wind is crazy, but I got a cuff link. Very cool. I just pulled out a cuff link and then I heard a whoa. I heard a whoa, Matt got a whoa. Got a 60 pound right on top and took it out. And that looks like it looks like a uh, World War One or two military pen. Sweet. There's the eagle right there and the shield. Oh, I've yeah. never found one. I found the buttons, but I've never found the, the pen. It's the Great Seal. Yep. Yes. Yep. I see it. Yep. Thirteen stars. Definitely World War One. Wow. Sweet. <laughs> that is awesome. Congratulations, ah, dude. We're all on the board with something we just started. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. absolutely incredible. This has just been a, we just got here. And we are finding some incredible, incredible relics. I just can't wait to get back to it. Okay, I want to stop now. Jeff just pulled out this little, interesting, uh, it's a candlestick holder. Pretty cool. Thingamabob. Looks like, is there any writing or is that just decoration? There's a decoration on it. There's decoration on the bottom. What do you think that is? Why is Jeff on all the cool stuff? I don't know. I don't even know why we bring him with us, honestly. Cool fun, man. Thanks, buddy. Jeff? Okay, so what I haven't been filming here is this uh, scrap copper. Little pieces of scrap copper everywhere. But this has some paper in it. It's got some paper tucked away in there. If you have any idea what that is, let me know. All right, I just got a coin. It's nice and green down here. Oh, that's real green. That's a nickel. That's a nickel-sized coin. What is that? I can't see it. Uh, I can't make it. Heads or tails of it. Get it? Oh, on a roll. I think it's a buffalo nickel. Okay, this is definitely buffalo. I think it would go, yeah, there's his braids. Buffalo's uh, had better days. And then Jeff, Jeff just pulled out. I can't dig any holes for Jeff. Sorry, sorry. Jeff's Jeff. taking all the good stuff. Go back to the car. But he, Jeff was just saying he had he's never dug a buffalo. And then he pulls out a nickel. It'd be cool if it was. It's yeah, that's, that's clad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's the one. Oh, it's yeah. clad. Yeah. <laughs> but it could, it could still be, you know, 40s. That's the only clad we found out here, though. <laughs> and here, here's your toothpick. Send records. All right, on to the next. I'll shoot. All right, and then Lance just showed up. What's up, Lance? Hey, buddy. Nice to meet you. Nice Thanks for coming out and joining us. Yeah. Thanks for having us. I mean, from the moment we got here, we just started pulling stuff <laughs> out of the ground. It's been amazing. Yep. All right, this stuff ain't gonna dig itself, right? No, it's not. All right, back to work. Swinging. All right. <laughs> All right, Lance, is this your first something? Yeah, today anyway. All right. Last time I was out here, I got an 1880-something Indian head penny. Oh. Oh, well, well, maybe you, you broke it. <laughs> <laughs> or did it just have a hole in it? Yeah. I don't know. It looks like there could be. I don't know. I think it may be just an old washer or something. Uh, maybe it was like a part of an oil lamp. There you go. Up. You found it. Uh, mystery token thing. It's not complete trash then. No. Oh, Some history. Dude. I'm Somebody gonna go with oil lamp top, you know, wick. Yep. Probably went right through there. Yep. Yeah. Hey. Cool. So Alright, yeah, so we got we got an update on, on Jeff's token. Oh, wow, look at that. So that's where palm olive soap you can something then you blank. So on the other side it gave the grocer instructions on how to redeem. Like it basically said, you know. We'll give you the money. We'll give you the five cents or whatever. Oh, yeah. To the retailers. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Let's see that other side. 
Nice. Okay, still having a fantastic time out here. Uh, relics are starting to slow down a little bit, but I just pulled out something small and round. There it is. What could that be? I have to clean this up a little bit and come right back. All right, well, it is a two-hole button. It's about as much detail as I can get out here in the field, but uh, cool find. Got a little excited when I saw this shotgun shell. Little brass piece. I'm going to clean this up. Well, definitely a shotgun primer. I can't read much of this. It's just too corroded. It's a neat find. And it's going in the bag. I think I got a nickel. Oh, it's definitely a nickel size. Yeah. Come on, baby, clean up. Oh, yeah. So the date would be... Hell yeah, now I see it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's yeah. Jefferson. It's funny how whenever you think it's something, so you yes. kind of look for that. The power know? of suggestion. And, yeah, and then you're like, oh yeah, and you're like, oh wait a minute. I'm yeah. completely wrong. I wanted, to be a, I wanted to be an Indian on the front. I know. Nin 1940. Nice. Hey. Better than nothing, right? Yeah, I'd be right. happy with that. Yeah. All right, right good on. job. All right, well that site was awesome. We're gonna head on over to another 1860s homestead would, site. Fingers crossed. All right, so Lance just came over and gave us uh, some Kentucky swamp water. I mean, it's a soft drink, but uh, Winchester, Kentucky. How cool is that? Thanks, Lance. Thanks, Lance. What'd you get there, Jeff? Did you got something interesting? Well, Matt taught us the term middle finger fork. Oh, that's so offensive. <laughs> I, I'm offended. That's cool. I've never seen a little I love fork. proof of life type stuff. <laughs> Good job. Thanks. All right. All right. Well, out of this little hole, I just pulled out this little thingamajig. It's an interesting thingamajig. Uh, Jeff just pulled this out. Matt was saying he finds these at old homestead sites. Maybe you guys, maybe somebody watching will know what this mystery item is. Pooter, pewter. Pewter. Pewter material. Pewter. It's made of pewter. It's solid. All right, if you know what that is, let us know. Yeah, please. All right, good job. I just told you guys I got silver. <laughs> High 90s, out of the hole. Nice Washington. 50, 1952. All right, I think this is the first silver of the day. I will gladly take it. All right, Jeff just got a... Here, I'll show you both of them. Oh, you got a big one. And there might be writing on this one. I'm not sure yet. That's cool. I did not see that so, one. Is that from the, the first site we nope, did? that's from here. That's from here. And then he's got another buckle. Mm -hmm. Nice. I love these. Anything from people. Yeah. You know, or anything that's like, this was worn by somebody or... Yeah. Anything like that. Absolutely. Yeah, I just pulled out this little guy. Oh man, the wind and the cold. Let's see. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to clean that up. Neat little thing, whatever it is, come right back. All right, got it cleaned up. It is a uh, Department of Revenue, state of Illinois, tax token. One and a half. I'm guessing that's one and a half cents. Backside's a little rough. This is a uh, first for me. I don't think I've ever, I've seen people find these. Very cool. No. All right, well, Lance has got a balance, man. It's nice to meet you. You too, bro. Thank oh, you so much. Oh, oh. You just said you dug this? I just dug it. What did you just dug? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Yeah. Maybe I'm not leaving. What? But look at this on the back. What's going on here? I this is so. What what, what's with you and mystery what? round things? Yeah. You, you always <laughs> find mystery round things. I wouldn't say a button because it's too thick. Well, it was still oh, nice yeah, to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> Happy. All right, I think Matt just found the rest of uh, middle Jeff's fork. middle finger fork. Cool find. Yeah. Yes. All right. Well, that was fun. Homestead site number two. Yeah. Now we're going down the road to schoolhouse. Schoolhouse. Where you're going to find another 1952 silver. Sweet. So we're on the board with silver. So just barely, just barely older than you. A little bit older than you. <laughs> barely is. <yes. laughs> All right. So it was a no go at the old schoolhouse. Uh, obviously been hit really, really hard. Even checked out a. Uh, home site 
uh, nearby, just nothing. You can see there was an old home there. Now, Matt is taking us out to an old ghost town. Super yep. stoked. And I want you to see our view. You ready for this? <laughs> this is our view. This is what we've been looking at for a while now. You can almost make out a truck up oh, there. There, there, there we go. There he is. Anyway, ghost town. All right, guys, it's been a heck of a day. We've hit three, four, five, I don't know how many sites we've hit already. Building behind us, long story short, used to be a two-story building. It was a bank, it was a Masonic Lodge, and a feed mill. And we're very fortunate to have permission to dig here. The homeowner was really nice. We're near a historic trail called the Goshen Trail. I'll put a link in the description. Very historic trail. Let's go see what we can find. Do Let's it. go. Saxon. This is Saxon. Saxon. That's good. Oh, bye Saxon. <laughs> All right, you can't come digging with me no more. Masonic you know Lodge. What that is? Uh, it's old. Yeah. And it's. Well, after a lot of guessing and a little research, this mystery Saxon emblem turned out to be quite a find. It's possibly a radiator emblem from the Saxon Motor Company, which was only in existence from 1913 to 1923. I called Jeff on his long drive back home to Colorado to give him the good news. Needless to say, we were all excited to get to the bottom of a really cool mystery find. Well, I am just thoroughly exhausted. Thrilled, but exhausted. The guys are still going at it. Jeff's way out there. Matt's killing it on the uh, modern pennies there. Anyway, it's been a great day. We're gonna do the wrap up here pretty quick and uh, head back to the hotel. All right, well, here is the wrap up. I'm gonna start with Matt's stuff here. He got a, you call these onion rings? <laughs> Those are iron onion rings. Is that your pocket? Like onions, but they're really rusty. That's your pocket knife? Half a pocket knife. What do you think that is? Oh, lipstick, right? Yeah, lipstick case. All right, little clock gear, little truck. I think that's a watch piece. That's from this property. We're in a ghost town. Yeah. I think that's a watch Me too. Watch back. And if I go too fast or I miss anything, let me know. This thing says Newark. Oh yeah, put that over here. That's Newark, New Jersey. I don't think these are to a Model T. I'm not sure. I found them at every old homestead. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. What is that? Yeah. Do you know what this is? Let us know. Yeah. I love that little piece of pottery. It's little things like that, you know. It's yeah. Like, oh, cool. No, I got some pottery too. I'm gonna show. Top of an old razor blade. Oh, that's cool. Don't know what this was. It's a half dime. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, that's a limited. <laughs> that's a quarter dime. Today. That's a quarter dime. Got some uh, spoon handle. Yeah. And some more wheats. Nice. Some of them might be clad, but. Yeah. And you can save the best for last here. What do you got down here? And this is just, this is sweet. World War I pin. Yeah. And then Jeff just killed it. We, everybody, we, we sent some photos out to uh, to the guys back home, and this that is on, just. That was on site number one. That's just find of the day right there. You got an old spoon. That's cool. Yeah. Buckle. <laughs> Clad. 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 Just put it in there so I had a coin. Yeah. <laughs> And then uh, this Palm Olive, Olive token. token, man, that is just, I love Kinda stuff cool. like that. Yeah. Uh, and then this is just cool. I don't know what this is. It says Saxon. What is that? I don't, I don't know. I just like that because it's got a hole on it. Yeah. yeah. A little, bu little buckle there. Yeah. And then this has got like a little dongle on the back. So I don't know what that is. Cool. And we don't know what that is. All right. Mystery item. Yep. And then I got a hole. A whole bunch of trash. I'm not going to show all that. Uh, got some uh, some cool pottery here. I think it's a paper shotgun shell. The uh, tax token, one and a half cents. Whatever that thing is. The cuff link, that was pretty cool. Giant onion ring, and then uh, <laughs> the buffalo nickel. I'm good. Buffalo nickel. Buffalo nickel. Five French francs. Franc. The French franc, quatre franc, uh, one silver quarter, and then a tiny little button. Well, it has been an incredible day. Thank you so much to Matt, Ski Searcher. Check out his channel. My pleasure. I don't know what else to say other than I'm exhausted. Yep. I had to switch hats because it's getting cold, but definitely not only the longest day, but probably one of the best hunts I have ever had. No. Yeah. Would you agree? Tour day, tour day, Matt.
is awesome. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Thanks again, Matt. Yep. No problem, man. Really appreciate hey, it. Hey, my pleasure. Nice meeting y'all. Nice to meet I'd you. I'd like to come back. Hey. Yeah. We'll be back. We'll come back and you need yeah. to. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. if we plan a lot better, I mean, we can even get on some better stuff than we did today, maybe. For short notice, this was incredible. Yeah, it was. We did like, what, five, six sites? Yep. Oh, yeah. yeah. We did a schoolhouse, like, what, three or four old homesteads, a ghost town. Yep. I mean, yeah. You don't get much better for Southern Illinois Mountain type things. Yeah, absolutely. Well, just remember to click that like button, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.